Hello viewers and welcome. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create new user in MySQL database using Heidi SQL. So let's get started. First of all, what you have to understand is when you use a single username and password for all your database, it comes with a risk, a vulnerability. So if the user is hacked, then all your database can be accessed. So now I'll teach you how to create database specific users so that for each database, you will have a different user. So let's say we want to have an application, a REST API server where we will keep all the information of students. For simplicity, let's say we have a database named student and it will be used in a REST API web application. So let's, let's first create the database. This is my local MySQL connection. Here I am creating a new database. Name is student. Okay. Now what I have to do to create a new user and provide permission for this specific database is I have to go to tools and under that user management part. You can do full steps of this tutorial with query but this is the easy and more understandable way which actually makes sense okay so here when i opened user manager under tool i found this window here it's showing all the existing users you can see what i have to do now is click on add and have a new username so i am adding my name here and I want this to be available from everywhere this is important and here this is percentage sign I am setting the password again I am repeating the password and here this is the place where you add the permission for this specific user here if I provide global privilege it will be pretty much same as the root user but the main purpose is to avoid that so what I have to do is click on this add object button and here it will show all the available database so my purpose is to provide permission only for student database so I'm selected student database and clicking on ok now the database permission paradigm is appeared here we can see that under this student database we can provide only execute permission select permission alter permission and many more so for now i'm providing all kind of permission for student database for this specific user zaman so when someone log into this database with someone he will be only showing the student database and he will be operating with that student database only so i have selected all and clicking on save now as you can see a new username is appeared here which can be accessed from anywhere this is actually important when your database is in live location in public location okay for now also if you want to delete a user you can click on this delete button after selecting the user but I am not doing that. So here I am clicking on close and now what I will do is I will create a new session here by clicking on new. The name of the session will be Monir MySQL and here the user is as I set the user Monir and the password is sorry the user was Zaman and the password was the password I set for Zaman okay everything will be pretty much same if I click on open and click on save new settings then I'll see that on the student database is available under this Monir MySQL name. This name is changeable. You can update it whenever you want. 
So under my root user, I can see all the database like music lane, student, etc. But when I connect to this, I can only see the student database. If I want to create a new table, I can create one like program and have ID and many more. So guys, this is how you can create multiple users and also database specific user and control the access level of that user which is actually very recommended option when you are working with a live database okay so that's all for today's tutorial i hope you have learned something out of it if so then please consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the next tutorial